Jacqueline Morasco. And what I want you to start off with spine nice and long so that you can breathe fully. So of course, when we were talking about what we wanted to work on, we, you know, what came up, hips, low back, shoulders. So I want you to imagine that as you're breathing, that your breath is going through your whole body, right? So long, smooth breaths, and you're noticing as we breathe and scan the body, you're noticing parts of the body that, you know, might want some attention or that are trying to hide from you. And you're thinking about how you want to feel after class today. And then once you're clear about what you want to work on and how you want to feel, bringing your hands to your heart center and setting your intention. So we're kind of sealing our intention at our heart. And you might bow your head to the heart, heart to the earth, or you might not. Then you're going to release your hands and take them down onto your knees or onto the floor. And what I want you to do, so you're going to keep your butt on the floor Inhale, you're gonna press your chest forward. So this might be a tiny movement. And then exhale, you're gonna go the opposite way, round the back. So it's kind of like a smaller seated cat cow. Right, so inhale, you press forward, opening up the front of the body, taking your shoulders back, keeping your butt on the floor. Exhale, rounding the back in the other way. And you're not moving too far, you're moving in a way that feels good in your body. So if it causes you discomfort, then you make the movement smaller or you stop. Now after your next exhale, we're gonna come to a place where we stop and then you're gonna make some big circles with your body. And you can, ma you can make them as big or as small as you want, but your butt stays on the floor. We're gonna stop and go in the other direction. And you're still breathing, right? Just stirring things up, as I like to say. All right, and then we're going to, again, come to a place where we stop. And then, however you have your legs, I want you to stretch them out. And you're going to have your feet wide and flat on the floor to the best of your ability. Knees are bent. We're going to have the hands on the inside of the leg. So inhale is going to be body upright. Exhale, you're going to slide down. And you're just going to move with your breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. So again, similar to that cat cow, but now I'm hoping that you're gonna get that stretch into the lowest part of your torso. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful. Now, next time you come up, you're gonna take your hands behind your body. So knees are still bent, feet flat on the floor. You're gonna walk your feet in a little bit so we have a little bit more um, leverage. Now, inhale, you're gonna lift up your butt, keep your vision towards your knees, exhale down. And just moving with your breath. If it doesn't work with your hands, you could be on your elbows and you could be on some blocks as well. If you're on your elbows, your, your bottom will not lift up as high, all right? All right, one more time, inhale up, Exhale down. And I know you might be thinking that's a lot of work to get started off with. Now you're going to find your tennis balls. And we're going to, you're going to sit up and you're going to place the tennis balls at your low back. And then you're going to ease your body into those tennis balls. And again, like with everything, if it hurts, you stop. And then gently moving your knees from side to side. So the idea here is to kind of stretch out the back of the pelvis with your body weight in the tennis balls. And you can shift your body, you can shift where the tennis balls are. And you're noticing, you know, what, what sensations or lack of sensations do I feel? Now, eventually, and some of you might want to stay doing that longer. We're going to take the tennis balls and we're going to move to the outsides of the hips. Right? So you're not putting those tennis balls right under your sit bones, right? 
And you're just gonna, again, go side to side with your knees or with your hips or with the tennis balls, whatever wants to move for you. Now, some of you may want to make your way over onto your side and work the tennis ball a little bit more deeply into your glute, your butt. And you may not, you may want to continue to move side to side, always in exploration and always doing what works for your body. I'm feeling like I could stay over here for a little while. <laughs> now, eventually we're gonna make our way over to the second side. And you're still breathing, right? You're always aware of your breath and what's happening in your body. Now, again, with all of these moves, you might want to be doing them longer than I'm doing it, and so you might choose to do it later on or right now. Now, eventually, we're going to sit up and set those tennis balls off to the side and stretch out your right leg. We're going to lift the left leg up, and if possible, you're going to hold on to your ankle or your heel and your knee, and you're going to keep that foot flexed, and we're going to gently rock side to side. For some of us, first thing in the morning, this, this may not work so well, but you know we're going to do the best that we can. And eventually, we're going to take that leg to the floor, bring your second leg up. Again, flexed foot, holding on to the ankle or heel and the knee, still breathing. Nice. So this time, we are going to keep this foot up here, and you're going to stretch out your toes. and I like to use the thumbs on the bottom of the feet and the fingers on the top, and we're just going to massage through the feet, right? And so as you're doing this, you're going to decide, where do I want to spend my time? Do I want to stretch out the toes and take them in a circle and pull on them? Do I want to massage the padded part of the foot and my arches and the heel? Just see which parts of your feet want attention. And if you're not used to doing this, you might notice, I mean, and if you are used to doing this, notice some interesting sensations in your feet that maybe you didn't notice when you were walking around. And you're still breathing. And again, you might feel like you could keep doing this forever, but you know, we have limited time. So um, you're gonna stretch out that leg and roll through the ankle a couple of times in each direction and then eventually bring your second foot up and work on your toes and the bottoms of the feet and the tops of the feet. And of course, still breathing, noticing what is. Now, again, eventually we're going to come to a place where we stop with our second foot and again, stretch that leg out and roll through the ankle for a couple of times. Long, smooth breaths. All right, and then we're going to take our hands behind us once more, bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, and now you're going to move with your breath. So inhales, head and knees to the center. Exhale, you're going to look over your shoulder and take your knees to the other side. Inhale, back to the center, and then second side. And moving with your breath, no rush. Doesn't matter how deeply you take your knees or how close to the floor you get with your knees. The idea is to just move in a way that feels really good with your breath. So your breath is key in how um, how everything is working in your body. So if you get to a place where you can't breathe, you need to slow down or stop what we're doing and get to a place where you can breathe easily. Now, next time you come back to the center, we are going to transition up to standing. Okay, so think about what's the easiest way for me to get myself standing up, safe, easy, efficient. You're gonna find one tennis ball. And we're going to roll through your feet. And if you're not used to doing this, you're, you decide how much pressure you put into the tennis ball. Okay. All of a sudden, I feel warm. Is it warm in here? All right. 
I know, on, on video your thumb's there, I don't know. <laughs> so rolling through the feet, and again, noticing what you feel, trying to get all the parts of your feet to the best of your ability. Eventually, we're gonna shift to the second foot. Still breathing. And this is something I invite all of you to do whenever you get the chance, right? Always keep a tennis ball handy. It's a great way to release stress. All right, so when you're done with that, you're going to make your way towards the front of your mat if you're not already there. Connect to your breath. We're gonna start with our hands touching onto our, the outsides of our thighs. And the inhale, you're going to reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, we're gonna slide down, bend your knees, inhale up. And it's kind of like slow motion, right? Inhale, exhale. And you create your own resistance. Noticing sensation and you move as deeply or not. Like if it hurts to bend your knees, maybe you barely bend them or don't bend them at all. All right, one more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Now when we're down, we're gonna stay here for a moment. So you're ready for this one. Now we're going to inhale up, arms come up. Exhale, you're gonna take one arm back and twist in that direction. Inhale up. Second side. Moving with your breath, moving as deeply or not as it feels good. One more time on each side, make sure you keep breathing, there's no rush. Last time. And when you come up, we're gonna keep our arms up overhead, interlace the fingers and press your palms up towards the ceiling. Feet are hip distance or a little bit more apart. Inhale, you're gonna reach over to the side. Exhale, back to the center. Just move with your breath. Side to side, if it hurts, interlacing the fingers, you can just have them pointing towards one another. One more time on each side. And then you come back to the center. You're gonna relax your arms, roll through those shoulders. Do you notice any sensation in your shoulders yet? <laughs> I like do already. I'm like, all right, so now I want you to shake out your hands or roll through your wrists or flick your fingers, just loosen those hands up. And then we're going to keep your, and some of you might do this with your heel against the wall, some of you do it in the center of your mat. You're going to step back. So here we are, we're standing at the front of the mat. You're gonna step back with your left foot now, when you're here, feet are hip width apart. Your front knee is over your ankle, so you can see your big toe, right? Daddy, I'd take your back foot this way. Okay. No, the whole leg, not just pointing your toes. Like, mirror me. So move that whole leg over. Yes, okay. now point your toes a little bit forward. There you go. How's that feel? Okay, all right. All right, so here we are. Now, we're gonna bend knee, elbows out. Most of you know this one, right? Make like cacti. So inhale is here. Exhale, you're gonna straighten that leg, stretch those arms out. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend. I'm just gonna turn to the side. Inhale. Right, so what we're doing here, obviously we're warming up a little bit, right? And we're moving through the body. If any part doesn't work, the knee or the elbow, then you don't do it. One more time, inhale, exhale, relax your arms, roll through your shoulders. You're gonna step that back foot forward and then you're gonna take your right foot back. And again, we took some time getting ourselves set up Right? And so feet hip width apart, your front foot pointing forward. You can see your big toe, your knee is over your ankle. Great, elbows 
like cacti. All right, inhale, his elbows, knee bent. Exhale, straighten the leg, straighten the arm. Move with your breath. And Jen, I would have a little bit longer stance because your knees are going to be over your there. Yeah. Try it and see. Okay, one more after this. And then you're going to relax your arms. Roll through your shoulders for a second and step your feet together. All right, so now you may want to hold on to a wall or something. We're going to stretch the front of the foot, the top of the foot. So I want you, and I don't want you to put a lot of pressure on the foot. So make sure your balance is okay. Grab a chair or a wall if you need to. So you're going to turn the toes under so the tops of the toes are on the floor. And you're going to be, what I want you to be getting is a nice stretch in the top part of the foot. Keep breathing. And notice if you favor one side or the other, right? If you're kind of moving your knee in a particular way, no judgment, you're just noticing what happens. We're going to take that foot flat on the ground to the second side. And you're still breathing. And your hands are, I noticed like sometimes like we mirror each other, you know, your hands are wherever they support you the most. Right? And you're still breathing. And again, noticing side to side how you use your foot. Keep breathing. Beautiful. Now we're going to take that foot flat. All right, hands are at your sides. And what I want you to do, we did this with our, with our chair position before. Or you're going to inhale one arm forward, one arm back, and come to shoulder height. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. And you're going to see if you can keep your palms pointing towards your body. So one more thing to think about, and it might feel a little weird in one of your shoulders, but you're just exploring. Inhale up, exhale down. Whenever you finish your second side, we're going to pause. Now we're going to take one arm forward, one arm back, you're going to keep your vision forward, hands knee overhead, exhale down, and if it's safe, you're going to come up onto your toes. Nice. One more time on each side. All right, so now you're going to take your weight into your left foot, and we're going to bring up the right knee, and you're going to bring it across the body, back to center, and down. Okay. And you're going <laughs> to keep breathing. Grab onto a wall if that feels better. Right? So you're lifting the knee up, working with your breath. Bring it across the body, back to center, down. Second side, knee up, across the body, center, down. And if you lose your balance, you know, grab a wall, do it over, just make sure you're safe. Keep breathing. No rush. If you find yourself kind of flying through it, slow down. Okay, one more time on each side. I think you're going to love the next one. Obviously, working with a little brain stuff and balance today. So, with this next one, I'm going to use the wall just in case. You're going to lift up your right foot and reach with your left hand to tap that foot. And then second, and you may not touch it. Not important that you touch it, you're reaching, right? So you're going from side to side. And again, maybe your hand touches, maybe it doesn't, and that's okay. You're just breathing as you move, no rush. One more time on each side. Then we're gonna stop. Hands are gonna come onto the thighs. You're going to inhale, body up, exhale, slide down, keeping your hands on your body. Inhale, slide up the back of the legs. Exhale, slide down the front. Inhale, up the back. Exhale, down the front. No rush. One more time. Inhale is up. Exhale is down. We're going to stay down when you come down this time. So you're going to bring your hands onto blocks or onto the floor. You're in your forward bend. You're going to take your weight into your left foot, lift that right leg up. Now, the movement is going to bring, bring, bring the 
is going to be, bring that knee towards your head and then stretch it out. Knee towards the head, stretch it out. And, and if you don't like being in that bent over position, you could have your hands on a wall or a chair where you're stretching that leg and bringing it in. Last time, come in towards the head, and this time you're going to bring that foot down to the ground. And then you're going to take your left leg and lift that up. Maybe it's parallel to the floor. Breathe, find your focus, your balance. And whenever you're ready, inhale as the leg is extended. Exhale as you bring your head towards your knee. And you're still breathing. You're noticing all the wonderful things happening in your body as you move. This will be our last time. Knee comes in. You're going to take that foot down. Now bring your hands back onto your legs. And again, you're going to inhale, sliding up the back of the legs. And exhale, slide down the front. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then inhale up. When you get to the top, we're going to roll through one shoulder at a time. This is the time to check in with your breath and your body. How are you doing right now? And then, I think I want to use a block today. Um, so this next thing, you can do it with a tennis ball, a block, or nothing, right? Like just your foot on the floor. So what I want you to do is place your right foot in the center of the block um, on its lowest level. Right, so we're not trying to stand on the tall block. Now you're going to take your weight into that leg, right? So all of your weight, for the most part, is on that right side of the body, and you're up on your left toes maybe, right? And you're going to breathe and focus. Now we're going to turn that knee out to the side a little bit, and you're going to start to slide it up the lower leg. Maybe your hands are at your heart center, maybe they're out to the sides or on your hips. You're going to find a place that is comfortable. You're going to keep breathing. If it's not safe, your foot is flat on the floor. <laughs> okay. Knee center, foot slides down, step down off the block, and we're going to switch sides. So keep breathing. So you probably, those of you who've been with me for a while, notice we do a lot of the same things in different ways, right? So Weight on the left foot, on the block, you're breathing, you're focused, and again, you're going to turn that right knee out and start to slide up, hands where it's safe and comfortable, keep breathing. So when we're doing something new, it's normal for humans to hold the breath, so make sure you keep breathing. Okay, knee forward, foot comes down. We're going to go back to our first side. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Make sure you're continuing to breathe. So again, right foot is on the block or wherever you're working with it. Weight on the block. And if you were with the tennis ball, you have it under your heel. Okay, weight is on the right side. Turn the left knee out, slide it up. Hands to the heart center, maybe. You start to reach them up towards the sky. Right, long, smooth breaths, no right or wrong. And maybe you open your arms out to the side, inhale, exhale, arms come back up. One more time, inhale up, exhale, hands to the heart center, knee forward, foot comes down. Before we move to the second side, you're going to take your hands onto your thighs just one time, inhale, body up. Exhale, slide down, inhale up, and then we're going to do our second side. That was your moment to, you know, come back to your center. Okay, so weight in the left side, up onto the right toes, knee turns out. And again, slowly slide up, hands to the heart center, keep breathing. Find your non-moving spot to look at on the floor, possibly reach those arms up. Inhale, open out. Exhale, hands back together. Woo! Last time. 
And when our hands inhale up, exhale to the heart center, lean forward, foot comes down, safely step off of the block, inhale, body up. Exhale, slide down. We're going to stay down here now. You're going to walk your hands over to one side. You could use a block here. Have your hands on the floor. Shift the hips over to the opposite side. Inhale through the center with the hands and the hips. And exhale to the second side. Keep breathing. One more time. Center. Go to your first side. Make sure you shift those hips so you're stretching the outside of the hip. Inhale back to the center, second side. Then inhale back to the center. Hands come on to your legs and inhale, slide on up. So is everybody with me? We good? All right, so now if you have a block, you're going to grab a block. You could also do this without a block or on a chair, right? So. And some of you might like to have a wall behind you. So we're going to have the block in our right hand. Okay? Okay, inhale, body up, exhale down. Your block is going to go like six to eight inches to the pinky toe side of your right foot. And your right hand is on that block. Now, just like we did moments ago, we're going to lift that leg up. So our face and our body is pointing towards the ground, and we're lifting up the left leg, maybe so it's parallel with the ground. Breathing. Now the left hand is on the hip. We're going to start to open the body, the hip, the shoulders. Beautiful. And you're pressing like you're stepping on that left foot. If it's safe and comfortable, you're going to lift up your left arm as well. And your vision can be towards the ground, straight ahead, or up towards your lifted hand. Keep breathing. So nice. Now we're going to take that left hand onto the hip. You're going to turn your chest and your face back towards the ground and then carefully step that left foot onto the floor. Take both hands onto your legs <clears throat> and inhale, slide up. So again, a different pose. <laughs> I mean, same pose we've done before, coming into it in a different way. Let's do the second side. So again, here we are. We're standing up. We have the block now in our left hand. You're going to inhale up. Exhale, slide down, place that block six to eight inches forward of your left pinky toe. And right hand is on the hip. We're going to start to stretch out the right leg. You might have to relocate your block. Chest, body towards the floor. You're finding your balance. You're breathing fully. Then we're going to start to open the hips and shoulders and the chest. Pressing with that back foot, like it's pressing into a wall, and then possibly if it's safe for you, you're going to stretch up that right arm. Your vision is wherever it works for you. Keep breathing. This is called Half Moon Ardha Chandrasana, for those of you who want to know. Okay, now, again, we're going to take that hand onto the hip. We're going to close the hips and the shoulders, and then carefully step back. Right foot down, take your hands onto your legs, and inhale, slide on up, roll through those shoulders. And then, how's it been doing? Good. We're going to take the feet into a little bit wider than the hips. Hands are going to be on your hips. And what I want you to do is make some nice big circles. And we're going to stop and go in the other direction. And as we're doing this, right, so yes, we're making circles with our hips. You're noticing what you feel in your low back, in your hips, as you're moving. And some of you might feel stuff in your body or your shoulders, too. We're going to come to a place that we stop. And then we're going to, we're going to make our way down towards the ground. And I want you to have a block, um, uh, and a strap, okay? So let's make our way down to the ground. And always thinking, how can I safely get myself down to the ground, right? So we're going to start in a seated position. So if you find yourself grounded here, I want you to put something under your butt, like a rolled up mat or a blanket. 
Okay, then we're gonna stretch out your left leg. We started with this earlier. You're gonna lift up the right leg, hold on to the knee and the flexed foot. So you're not sickling your foot, right? We wanna protect that ligament in there. And you're gonna start to rock. You're still breathing. Because this feels good. All right, now we're gonna take this folded leg and place it over the top of the thigh. Lower if that does not work for your body. Now we're gonna take hands onto the straight leg. Inhale, body up, exhale, slide down. Inhale up and exhale, slide down. One more time. Inhale, body up, exhale, slide down. And then when you inhale up, you're gonna find your strap. We're gonna take it around the padded part of the foot, okay? Now you're gonna walk your hands down. I'm trying to think, where's the, what's the best way for y'all to see? You're gonna walk your hands down so that your elbows are straight and you're gonna lift your body up and kind of pull your shoulders back. So your spine is nice and long. And some of you might feel a little stretch in your calf or your Achilles, right? But make sure that nothing hurts. Now the inhale is gonna be body up. Exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows and bring your chest not your head, right? So it's not this, it's this. <laughs> Hopefully you can see a difference. Okay, so inhale, body up, elbows are straight. Exhale, elbows bend, chest forward. So when I do this, I feel the stretch in my low back. So you want to make sure you don't go too far, right? Keep breathing, inhale up. And it's a lot of work, even though it looks like so simple. Now, when you come up, you're going to take that strap off. You're going to take your hands to the ground, and we're going to start to slide in that right heel or whatever leg is forward. I just realized I switched. So, okay. Now, you're gonna walk that foot in, and we're gonna just gently bring your knee side to side only in a way or always in a way that works for your body. Nice. Next time we come through the center, we're gonna straighten out that leg, uncross, and you're gonna reach for your second leg, again, flexed foot holding on to that heel and the knee and rocking side to side. And notice like when you do this, do you feel something in your butt, in your sits bone, or do you feel it in your hip? Like where do you feel it? Then we're gonna cross that leg, some your bent leg, someplace over your straight leg, and hands are on your straight leg, foot is flexed on your straight leg, well, both feet are flexed. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. We're gonna do that a few times. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. Last time. And then this is where you're gonna find your strap around the padded part of your foot. You're gonna walk your hands down so that your elbows are straight and pull your shoulders back. You're still breathing. So, I mean, and posture is actually one of the things that people bring up often to me, right? And so noticing how it feels to sit here, just sit here as, we're, as I'm talking with your shoulders back your chest slightly open, right? For some of us, that's a lot of work just doing that. Now, we're gonna inhale, elbows straight, body upright, exhale, bend the elbows, chest towards your leg. Not your chin, not your head, your chest. Inhale up. So I see some of you kind of reaching like this. Keep your head in line with your body and let your heart lead the way. And don't go too far, right? How deep we go here, not important. What's important is that we don't hurt ourselves. Okay, one more time, inhale up, exhale forward, and we're gonna inhale up, take the strap off, and we're gonna slide that foot in. Your top foot is flexed, and we're gonna start to rock that foot. So how's it for you and pick it?
All right, we're going to come to a place where we stop. You're going to straighten out that leg and uncross. And just like we did at the beginning, now your hands are behind you. You're going to bend your knees, take your feet flat on the ground. Again, some options. You could be on your elbows. I'll do it that, this way now just so people can see. Inhale, you're going to lift up your butt. Exhale down. And explore. Like if you're not sure which is better for you, try both ways, right? I get more movement on my hands. Um, and it doesn't bother my hands. But if it does, one more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, we're going to all come back down to our elbows. And if this causes any discomfort, because a lot of you talked about your low backs before, if this causes any discomfort, you're going to lay down and do this laying down because that will put less stress on your back. Okay? So now you're going to keep your right foot on the floor. You're going to bring your left knee in towards your body and then stretch it out. And we're just going to work that same leg. Again, any discomfort in your back, you're going to lay down and do this. I feel like I need to keep repeating that just in case. Okay, so inhale is when the leg is long. Exhale as you bring it in towards your body. Last time. And then we're going to take that left foot flat on the floor, still breathing. Whenever you're ready, we're going to lift up the right knee towards the body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale in towards your chest. Moving with your breath. more. And again, after your knee comes in towards your body, we're going to take it down to the floor. And this is where we're going to make our way down onto our back body. And you're going to relax and breathe. And this is where some of you may want to have a rolled up blanket or a block or a bolster. We're going to lift up your pelvis and place the block underneath. And I want you to now focus on opening up the chest. So the hips are supported by the block and you're staying off of your spine, right? The block is only under your pelvis. You're going to press your shoulders and back of the head into the ground as you open up your chest. Now, just like, well, this one's going to be a little bit different. So I want you to feel your left foot on the ground and come on to your right toes. All right, now you're going to inhale, exhale, bring that knee in towards the body. And then you're going to just tap the toe on the ground and bring the knee towards the body. Same side. You're just tapping the toe, bringing it towards the knee. Next time, after you come in towards your body and the foot comes to the ground, you're going to take it flat on the ground. Shift onto the left toes. Nice big inhale. And then as you exhale, bring that left knee towards the body. Inhale, tap the floor. Exhale towards your body. Just moving through that one leg. Chest is still open. Hips are still supported. And again, when the foot comes down, we're going to take it flat on the ground. Now for this next part, some of you will want to keep your hips supported by the block and some of you will want to move with your body. I will model both. So the movement is going to be inhale, left arm up, head turns to the right, exhale, back to the center with the head and the arm, alternating sides. Now you could do this, moving your body. So inhale, hips come up, arm comes up, head turns. Exhale, hips down, arm down, head back to center. One more time on each side, depending where you are. And when you come back to center, we're going to bring those knees in towards the body and make some nice big circles with your knees. You can do that holding your knees or not. We're going to go a couple of times in each direction. 
Then very carefully, if you still have the block underneath you, you're gonna take your feet down to the ground and remove the block. You're gonna find your strap one more time. Okay, now we're going to take that strap and we're gonna put it around the padded part of both of our feet. And maybe your legs are perpendicular to the ground. You're gonna walk your hands up so that your elbows are straight. And I know some of you might have a little bend in your knees, that's totally okay. Now inhale is gonna be legs away from the body, head on the ground. Exhale, you're gonna pull your legs towards your body. Inhale, legs away. Exhale, pull the legs towards your body and your elbows will bend. Two more times. And it is okay if your knees bend. Okay, next time we're back at neutral. Now we're gonna add on. Inhale, legs away, body on the floor. Exhale, legs towards the body, head towards the legs. If that doesn't work for your head, neck, and shoulders, just go back to the first part. Inhale down, exhale as you reach your head towards your legs. One more time. Nice. Now, here you can do this next one with the strap or without it. You're going to take your feet wide and then bring your hands to your backs of your thighs, onto your calves, ankles, or the outsides of your feet. So some people call this happy baby. I like to call it dead bug. The bottoms of the feet pointing towards the sky. Some people like to rock and some people like to be stationary. Long, smooth breaths. Still breathing in your own time as you're ready. You'll take your hands and off of your legs, carefully bring your feet down to the floor one at a time. Now, we're going to, this is where I want you to notice how your body's feeling. And if you need anything else for your body to be comfortable, like if you need to take a little twist or you know, hug your knees into your chest again, what do you need in order to prepare yourself for Shavasana? And I'm just going to show you one of my favorite ways to do Shavasana. And if anybody in the room wants a chair after I'm done, you're welcome to it. But one of my favorite things to do is to have the legs up on the chair because it takes any pressure off the low back. So you could do that, you could do legs up the wall, you could also just lay flat on the ground, but I want you to find some position that feels comfortable for you. And so first you're gonna do anything else your body needs to be prepared for Shavasana. And then second, you're gonna get yourself set up for Shavasana. And I'm gonna get up and turn off the lights. You're checking in, and then you're getting yourself set up. And as you get yourself set up for Shavasana, this is a great time to reconnect with your breath and your body. Letting yourself be completely supported by the earth for the next few moments there's nothing else that you need to do just to be with your breath and your body
So as your awareness starts to come back into your body, breath, taking a moment to notice how you're feeling, and maybe you remember at the beginning of practice that you set an intention of how you wanted to feel. And so, you know, noticing how do you feel in this moment. And in your own time, starting to reawaken in whatever way feels good in this moment for you, body, mind, and spirit, and possibly coming up to a seated position to do a short breathing and focus practice. And so most importantly first, right, is that you're comfortable. Because if you're focused on, oh, my ankle hurts, then you can't focus on other things, right? So make sure you're comfortable. And then you're going to start to take long, smooth, full breaths. So breathing in as fully as you can without becoming agitated. And if you know how to do ujjayi where we close the back of the throat a little bit, I want you to add that in on the exhale. And if not, you're going to exhale naturally. Now we're going to take the right thumb and close the right nostril. So you're going to breathe in through the left nostril and then let go of your nose and breathe out using ujjayi if you use ujjayi. Then you're going to close the left nostril, breathe in, and again breathe out through the nose using Ujjayi or your regular exhale. And you're just going to alternate, breathe in through the left nostril, exhale regularly. You can switch hands or you can use the same hand to close your nostrils. So it takes a lot of focus. Right? Breathe in left, closing the right nostril, breathe out using both nostrils, ujjayi if possible. So the next time you breathe in through your right nostril and exhale, you're going to relax your hands and let your breathing go back to your natural breathing process. And as with any breathing process, if it causes you to feel at all agitated, you stop immediately and just breathe regularly. And now as you settle into your seat, Maybe your eyes are closed, or maybe they're half open looking towards a spot on the floor. Noticing the feel of the air coming in through your nostrils and out. 
Notice things like, is the breath cool or warm, moist or dry, smooth or chuggy? And once more noticing how you are feeling and thinking about how you might take this place of calm that you're in right now and bring it into the rest of your day. And as we start to bring the practice to a close, taking a moment to thank yourself for showing up and for doing the practice, you know, really honor yourself. You do honor yourself by doing practice, right? And let's um, inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. We're gonna exhale the sound only to the heart. to see you all.